duck returned and heard the truck singing, he bumped them hard. <laughs> I'm sorry our trucks were rude to you, Diesel. It's all your fault. You made them laugh at me. Nonsense. Duck would never do that. We engines have our differences, but we never talk about them to trucks. That would be dis dis disgraceful. Disgusting! Despicable! Diesel hated Duck. He wanted to get him sent away. So he had a plan. <laughs> Day, he spoke to the trucks. I see you like jokes. You made a good joke about me yesterday. I laughed a lot. Duck told me what about Gordon. I whispered. Don't tell Gordon I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tell him they dug out for a us. Diesel went to all the sidings, and in each one, he told different stories. He said Duck had told him. This was untrue, but the trucks didn't know. They laughed rudely at the engines as they went by. And soon, Gordon, soon, Gordon, Henry, and James found out why. Disgraceful! Disgusting! Despicable! We cannot allow it! They consulted together. We won't stand for nasty engines here at the sheds. Right! We'll show that great western fool! Duck was tired out. The trucks had been cheeky and troublesome. He worked hard to make them behave. He wanted a rest in the shed. Myself, if the dome fits, <coughs> he made trucks laugh at us. Sir Topham Hat recovered. Did you duck? Certainly not, sir. No steam engine would ever be as mean as that. No steam engine would ever be as mean as that. Now, Diesel, you heard what Duck said. I can't understand it, sir. To think that Duck of all engines. I'm dreadfully grieved, sir, but no nothing. I see. Diesel squirmed and hoped he didn't. I am sorry, Duck, but you must go to Edward's station for a while. I know he will be glad to see you. Big pardon, sir. Do you be no? Yes, please. Uh, as you wish, sir. Sadly away, while Diesel smirked with triumph in the darkness. 